sweet and sour chicken hey guys welcome back to my channel I'm excited to share this sweet and sour chicken recipe with you so let's dive right into it I'll be using deboned skinless chicken thighs as they come out juicier than chicken breasts um, you can use chicken breasts or thighs whichever one you prefer is okay the quantities I'll be using in this recipe are enough for three generous servings, I'd say. And if you stretch them out a little bit, they can serve four people or make four servings. So season the chicken. I'm using 400 grams of chicken thighs with garlic salt to taste. I prefer using garlic salt because it gives the chicken this garlicky taste, which I like. So I only use that and do not add more salt. I will not be adding more garlic as well to the chicken because I already used garlic salt. Unless if you really want your chicken to be like garlicky, then you can add extra garlic. Add one teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of ginger powder. You can use fresh ginger if you like or if you have it. Half a teaspoon of lemon pepper, half a teaspoon black pepper, one heap teaspoon of paprika, you can also add mixed herbs and cayenne pepper for a little bit of heat. Mix it with your hands. I wore gloves because I didn't want to get my actual hands dirty. If the spices are not enough, feel free to add a little bit more. I had to add a little bit more paprika to get that nice color on the chicken. Then leave to marinate in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. Then add the egg and mix everything thoroughly with your hands. The main reason why I wore the gloves in the first place. And then after that, we're going to make the coating. For the coating, you can use breadcrumbs if that's what you have or prefer, but I recommend using corn flour, cornstarch, or all purpose flour for this recipe. Um, cornstarch comes out way better than breadcrumbs and the all purpose flour, in my opinion. And the coating is also quite light, so it does not fall off the chicken or get too soggy. So just add one cup cornstarch or corn flour and the same quantities and spices that you use to marinate the chicken. You can also refer to the list of ingredients in the description box below. Dredge the chicken pieces in the flour mix until covered with the flour coating. And please make sure all sides and uh, every part of the chicken is coated so that you don't have like an even coating on the chicken that makes the coating fall off eventually when you put the sauce and when you before you serve your chicken or when you're frying it we don't want it to fall apart heat oil in a fryer or deep pan and fry the chicken for eight to ten minutes or until the chicken is fully cooked nice and golden and the internal temperature is 165 degrees fahrenheit or 65 degrees celsius if you're using a thermometer once the chicken is done uh, just take it out and set aside and now you're ready to make the sweet and sour sauce so you can use a store-bought one i have listed some brands that i recommend and where to find them in the description box below that will be labeled uh, as sweet and sour sauce. Sweet chili sauce can also work if used on its own or you can mix it with soy sauce and some ginger. The one I used was made with a quarter cup oyster sauce, a third cup of sweet chili sauce and some ginger powder. If you want to add some sesame oil, you can add two teaspoons and also half a teaspoon of fresh garlic or fresh ginger or mixed. I could have used pineapples too if I had them but unfortunately this recipe wasn't planned for that day so I do not have pineapples so you can add fresh or canned pineapples so just go ahead and pour the oyster sauce sweet chili and ginger powder into a pan and let it simmer for two to three minutes tearing uh, occasionally Add the chicken into the sauce, stir, and then add red peppers and spring onions. I also did not add green peppers because I had run out. So add green peppers. They really make this dish taste even better. 
and then just make sure that all sides and every part of the chicken is covered in the sauce because you don't want to have like a dry part of the chicken and a saucy part of the chicken you want everything immersed in the sauce and now the serving suggestion I served this with some jasmine rice and vegetables but you can also serve this with noodles or steamed vegetables and just look at that guys it's giving what it's supposed to give like that sweet and sour chicken was everything I wanted to eat that day I still remember the taste even so that's it for today guys thank you for watching and please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel I've got a lot of exciting recipes coming up this Christmas and they are definitely going to make your Christmas a memorable one as you'll be showing off your new skills in the kitchen <laughs> bon appetit